Hello witches, this is Kristen, um, or Ozzy Peroni, and um, I haven't made a video um, in about a week. I had a really, really hard week this week. Um, lots of crap. Um, my electricity got shut off, and um, I did not have a favorable outcome um, with my court date. I was um, in a kind of car accident last summer, and... Um, I'm facing negligence charges for it, so um, that kind of sucks. But um, other than that, I'm trying to do some witchy stuff on this Mother's Day, and I'm trying to um, do some personal growth. Um, I've been watching a lot of you guys' videos, which is very helpful. <clears throat> um, one of the most helpful videos um, is the last few that the Four Queens did because she talked about really looking at um, things in a different way, like um, taking the things, the crap that happens and learning from it and um, adding it to your rep repertoire of um, things that have made you who you are and given you the strength to help others and to be understanding and I was thinking about how that applies to my own life and um, the fact that although I've had a few years where I've kind of taken a break from life um, I really kind of stopped all the things that I was involved in um, around 2009 and I just kind of stopped living in a way um, mostly just focused on my home um, didn't go out much or anything and I needed to do that I really needed the time of introspection um, because prior to those years I had been doing so much and been so strong but I stopped learning how to say no and um, when you don't set boundaries and you do too much to help others it ends up um, not being such a good thing. It zaps your energy away and it takes away your personal power. A lot of people have videos about um, giving away your personal power and that is an area that I struggle with um, very much. I always have and I probably always will struggle with it to some extent. Um, since I was a kid I always wanted to make everybody happy and please everybody all of the time. But when we're um, when we're having our own power be what rules our life, you're not going to be able to please everybody all the time. And um, especially as an adult, um, I have been married my entire adult life. So um, I've always kind of had somebody um, by my side to either have to please or in this case, um, pretty much tell me what to do. So um, I'm really all about, right now, trying to take back my personal power and to learn when and how to say no and um, all of that. But um, it's not an easy thing sometimes. Um, so today is Mother's Day and my little girl made me um, a card and a book. And I will show you the book because it's really cute. My Mother by Joy. This is my mother. My mother's name is Kristen. My mother is 36 years old. My mother is great because she takes me to the park. My mother likes it when I read her a book. My mother is good at cleaning the house. My mother's favorite color is purple. My mother's favorite sport is football.
My mother's favorite food is carrots. I love it when my mother makes me soup. My mother and I like to play on the trampoline. And look at that beautiful full moon up there. Mm -hmm. So these are my... I know. Um, and here's the card she made me. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm so happy for Mother's Day. All about my mom. And this is kind of the same stuff I just um, showed you in the book. My mom is 36 years old. Oops, it says my weight. <laughs> um, my mom's favorite color is purple. My mom's favorite food is broccoli. My mom always says I love you. My mom cooks the best soup. My mom's job is to clean. Uh, my mom laughs when I say something funny. If my mom had time, she would love to read. And that is what I'm going to do. My mother and I like to play outside. My mom really loves me. I love my mom because she loves me. Bye, Joy. And that is my Mother's Day card. So that made me very happy. And um, what else? Oh, and uh, I thought I would share over here. I have my big pile of books that I'm planning to read today. Um, I've been kind of just reading all of these at the same time. I have, um, not gotten through any of them yet to the end except this one. This was a ne ne necessary read for me. Um, this is an oldie but goodie by Laurie Cabot, The Power of the Witch. And, um, this was one of the first books I ever read on witchcraft. Um... I was probably, I think, like 14, 15 years old when I read this. Um, this is when I first realized what what witchcraft was and that I had always been kind of doing it. <clears throat> From the time I was a little kid, I always had um, what would be considered an altar. Um, I used to set my special little things up on a little table, and it was the place where I went, um, like, to look at my things and focus my attention and um, think about things that I wanted. Um, from a very early age, I just instinctually knew how to kind of do that. <clears throat> In fact, I had multiple altars um, throughout my life without realizing that they were altars. I didn't call them that, um, but they were sacred places to me where all my little special things that made me think in a positive way, a happy way, directed my mind and my energy. Um, and I've always done that. And um, even though I consider this over here my official altar, um, throughout my house I have many altar type of things. Um, for example, before I had this big altar, this little thing right here was kind of an altar to me. Um, and my windowsill in my kitchen could be a, considered an altar because it's the same kind of thing. While I'm doing dishes, I am um, in a sacred mind frame. And I use the time when I do the dishes to contemplate, to um, kind of let my mind wander to where it needs to wander and think the things that I need to think about that I don't usually have the time. <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing today. And um, this book, I'm going to try to get into a little bit. Um, I really only skimmed through it so far, but um, those of you have seen me mention this one, this one's really awesome so far. And that's all. I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, Mother's Day, and um, I hope to make more regular videos again um, starting this week. And um, have a wonderful day, guys. Blessed. Blessed be.